Hello, today we're going to learn how to draw a winter snowman. We're looking for shapes that we know, spheres, and we're also looking at the different values of white and the different values of blue that are on our paper. We're going to be using construction paper crayons today to draw on a light blue sheet of construction paper. And let's start off with the white. What I'd like you to see on this drawing is that we're not making a white circle only about half of our sphere is going to have white on it and that's the the left edge the left side of the snowman and all the light that's shining on him here we can see from the shadow and the colors on the right side that the moonlight is shining brightly from this left side of the snowman and we're going to do a few snowflakes in the air and some snow on the ground we're also going to notice where his shadow falls so let's begin Let's start down on the bottom of the snowman. Let's do a nice curve. Think of it kind of like you're doing a quarter moon. I'm going pretty lightly at first. I need to come back over it and darken it up as I work. There is my left curve of the snowman, that bottom sphere. Now we're going to do the next part up. and I'm going to do it really light because I see that his arm is going to stick out through part of there. Now, learning about shadow is a really important part of learning how to draw, whether it's with crayons or with pencil or with ink pen. Let's do this left curve of the snowman's face next. We're going to skip a little space for his scarf right here. You know that the snowman is made of three spheres. And there's going to be a lot of shading on each one of those. In fact, now I can come back and add in some of the shading that I should see. Not all of it, but some of it. Just so I start to see where my snowman's going to be. Don't forget we have an arm we need to draw right there. I'm doing nice long strokes. And the closer to the edge of the sphere I am, the darker it is with white. And the further I come in towards the center of the snowman's body, the more I start to fade out and let that blue show through. This kind of artwork is called shading. And for every color, whether it's white or blue or green or purple, there are different shades of that color. So now that I've done that outline for the left half of our snowman, let's do the outline for the right side. And that's going to be done in blue. So if you find your light blue, that's how we're going to create shadow for our snowman. So I'm going to start right there at that point where I left off and curve up but since this is a sphere, with a sphere sitting on top, it's not going to go all the way up. So my two halves together are going to look kind of like a letter U. I'm trying to match what's on the other side. This is like an exercise in symmetry. And I'm going to do some more shading to that in just a moment. But for right now, let's just leave it like that blue line so we can all agree on where it is. I'm going to do the next part of the sphere the middle sphere, and we're going to leave some space for this scarf and leave a little space for the arm. So I'm going to start up with that sphere. I'm going to leave a little space for the arm right about there. And then we'll go a little bit higher, but we're going to have that colorful scarf hanging on that side of our snowman. And then finally, we need to do this part of this sphere and keep in mind where the hat is right there. So we'll start bringing him around. I'm not going all the way over because I didn't bring my white far enough over. And obviously his forehead right there, it's under the hat. It's going to have a little bit of shading on it. Let me go ahead and add in some of that blue that I know is shadow on the right side of his body. Not all of it, but some of it. Just so I start to see the snowman. Good, I'm starting to see it now. Are you starting to see the snowman yet? 
especially right here under that sphere, there's a lot of shadow right there. And just curve that on around. Now I'm also going to have his shadow on the ground right here, which has a couple of bumps in it because it is the shadow of three spheres. And that shadow is going to be my darkest blue that I put on the paper. So let me go ahead and do my darkest blue because in shadows, there's no light whatsoever. All the light is blocked by an object. So I'm going to shade that in the darkest we can make with this little blue construction paper crayon. Now that our shadow's on the ground, we can add some snow on the ground because we know what part is going to be in shadow and we'll get no white to it. So I'm going to add some curves of snow on this side and some curves of snow on this side. And we can shade that in some so we can all agree that there's snow down here on the ground. Let's add a little bit more of that white that we're supposed to see on this side. So the light blue in the middle of our snowman, that is kind of like where this white fades out, but before it gets to be a dark blue. Let's come back and add our arms because we left some space. Let's do some little sticks for arms. You can look at the ones on the paper. They're not, there's not a lot of points to those sticks. In fact, we're going to come back and add some snow to them. And over here, we're going to skip a space for our scarf. Because that's a really cool scarf the snowman has around his neck. I'm going to use my yellow and green. You can do it all in one color if you want. But he has a section of green and then a section of yellow. A section of green and a section of yellow. A section of green. And it kind of stops with this last section of green. And it starts again with this piece that's flowing down his shoulder. So you can do a different design on your scarf if you want. It's up to you. I'm going to continue the one that's in the picture that I'm looking at for inspiration. And his hat's the same way. It's got a green band. and a green ball on top with yellow in the middle. I like that fluffy ball on his hat. And of course, some yellow in between the green. add the yellow to his hat. Now, of course he needs an orange nose, which is actually a comb, carrot, and he needs some eyes. I don't have black construction paper crayons, so we're going to use brown. Maybe it's wood. Maybe it's coal. Maybe it's rocks. The last thing I need to do is let's add some ice on his nose. Some icicles. Maybe a little snow on top. Same thing for his arms. Maybe a little snow on top and a few icicles hanging down. And we can do some snowflakes in the sky. Snowflakes don't have to look exactly like these. Every snowflake is unique. Do a little more shading, a little more white. With that snow. And of course, before I'm finished, I must sign my name. Please make sure you sign your name in the bottom right hand corner. Can't wait to see how your snowman turns out.